once that high ground's being sieged, just drop all those remote mines and kind of sit back and delay. Jeez, that was someone who's not going to end. <laughs> Big set right there. Sven, he's going to be on the front page there. Nisha, of course, with a lovely Sven. No big sword, though, which is very upsetting. Rubik by Mickey Dota. No, that's the Mickey Dota <laughs> fan. That is not Mickey. That's insane. Yeah. That's, that's insane. insane yeah. <laughs> Mickey, not embarrassed about his uh, much shorter set, but that's okay. So we'll see the longer set Prepare come out from whoever it was before. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. We have a very quick smoke coming out, John. I don't even know if you analyze this game seriously anymore. I mean, we're certainly not used to this. The high fives, though, will come out very early on from Secret. Of course, I'm sure everyone's in very good spirits going into this game. Can they catch anybody out. Has a Storm Hammer ready? Insania, the closest target to them on the Rubik. Nisha. A loop around Insania. He reacted a bit too slow there, Puppy. He's going to be there for the follow up Earth Spike. And that should be First Blood going to the Wave Secret. And it will be Puppy. He'll go ahead and pick that up on the Lion. They'll loop around, see if anybody else is there. But it's only Mickey, and he's hiding behind the trees right now. Um, Mike, the Absor has level 1 Flesh Heap. Why? The Absor has level 1 Flesh Heap. He has one stack. But. He has level one flesh. Could have been a misclick? Could this be? Nah, it's probably a misclick, right? Surely, unless he wants that health regen. He gets the health regen, John. He can lane with this. The battle begins. I mean, I'm, I'm just guessing here, but I'm assuming that's why. I mean, five HP regen at level one is not such a bad thing. When you add it onto his passive regen, he's got eight point eight now. That is a massive amount, but what do you... I guess, you know, he's still going to get his level 2 anyway. So it's I mean, not the biggest deal. With him and Zai creep skipping like this, he's going to get it pretty darn fast. It's almost like you've never seen a Pudge Burst Techies in a pro game, John. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. They are going to jump on Mickey. They are running a tri lane here. Zai going to move in onto Mickey, though. Tiger will rotate over on the Techies. <laughs> does have the blast off available if he wishes to use it though Zai being trapped in the tree line he will eventually get up and there's the blast off won't lead to anything quite yet though it does make Zai feel very uncomfortable I'm sure with that low HP the Absol gonna be chased down and look at the damage coming out from Tiger that's unbelievable 32 <laughs> per right click oh. No wonder Yapsaw went for that, uh, to level up the Flesh Heap first. He needs that region up against Tiger. Earth Spike will be there, however. No way to really slow him down without a rot. Tiger just going to be chased down, and Yapsaw not even right-clicking at the moment. Insania will be there, and there's the Iron Shell. That's why he's not right-clicking. Tiger looks like he should be first blood, but no. Salve will come out in time, and now Yapsaw's in trouble. Insania does not have lift, has fade bottom. There's the blast off. They will be able to find the, the Yapsaw kill on Insania. And a one-to-one -one now. What a fascinating start to a game. It's a tri lane on tri lane, which is already something you don't see too often. Add to that, it's a techies and a pudge in the same lane. And <laughs> a pudge with fleshy. Oh no, he, he has rot now. Okay, this makes a bit more sense. Insania yeah, going to be chased down. It's going to be pretty hard to get away from this iron shell and rot coming out from Yapsaw, and he is dead. We didn't think about that one, John, but this is a pretty potent combo. It really is. Like, despite not having that hook, if you can just run up and rot and do all this damage, you don't need it. We should talk about the other lanes, but before that, Pumpy will end up losing his life to Mickey. We'll quickly have a gander at what the other lanes are doing. Uh, mid one on that TA, up against Koifa on the Kunker. It does seem like Koifa has had a nice little lead there with the uh, with the CS, but this is a TA after all. She'll catch up rather quickly, it seems. Of course, it's one thing to point. Like... Yes. It's one thing to point out as well. This matchup between the Konka and the TA, you can clear out all the reflect or refraction with Torrent. If you manage to land that, it's just gone. Point. Point indeed. Bot lane. Boxy is going to be pretty much soloing on the Tiny. Looks like he was up against, well, Nisha by himself, but now Puppy will join in. He's had enough of that top lane. 
Meanwhile, of course, Tiger just yeah. denied himself on the techies. Nothing special there. Looks like Boxy. Gonna go for an avalanche, though. Tiger is gonna join in as well. He did end up getting rather low, but Tiger does have a nice self he can pass over. Meanwhile, top lane, Zion Yapsaw still doing Darkseer and Punch things with the creep skipping. Saying you're trying to do his best to deal with it, but it is rather hard as a as a Rubik, though. He will be chased down now as well. He went a bit too far. There will be a lift out and it will stop the chase. Nikki uh -uh. on that Morphling. Seems to be doing a pretty darn good job farming underneath that T1 tower. Doesn't seem too concerned by the fact that he has to farm under that T1. Yeah, again, we've seen this before on Morphlings as well. They get creep cut. They don't really care. They have pretty good attack animation, pretty good attack damage as well early on, so they can contest that tower quite well. Fade Bolt will come in. Now the X from Koi, but Torrent as well. They're going to go straight after the Absol, though, of course, he does have the ability to deny himself, but it isn't going to be as easy as that. Koifa, he did have the haste rune, and of course, he hits like a truck already. Turns straight into that mid lane afterwards. But this did give a bit of space for mid one to catch up, to catch up with that CS now. They do... Well, they basically are on even grounds. Mid one is going to have five last hits ahead of the Conquer now. I mean, you can definitely supplement that farm for the TA by dropping into the jungle as mid one is doing. So, you know, despite that lane being pretty rough early on, he is catching up quite well. I mean, he's overtaken the Kunkka at this point, and that's not the greatest news for Koifa, but he's still finding something from the lane anyway. Poppy misses the Earth Spike down a bot lane, but Nisha will go claim that bounty, but now the Avalanche Toss and the Blast Off comes in. It's a lot of damage coming out onto Nisha, though can they finish the job off? Doesn't look like it. Be able to run away, and he will be able to commit that shrine for himself and Poppy on that line. While well, Zai still doing Darkseer things, just creep skipping over and over again with that level 2 Iron Shell. Insania still trying to deal with it as the Rubik, but there's not much they can do unless Koifa rotates in. Now with the X and the Torrent, it should be enough, and they will go ahead and finally claim that kill onto Zai. It'll give them a 2 to 5 lead here in terms of kill score about 6 minutes into the game. So there is a slight net worth lead for Secret anyway, so the game still remains very, very even. Definitely so. It does look pretty good for Alliance again. They have all these early kills on their back, and they're still finding the EXP on these heroes despite the pretty aggressive early start. They're still managing to find the levels so far, but things have stabilized just a bit. You know, we're back to dual lanes as well. Nothing too wild coming out anymore. Boxy gonna get caught out here. Blast off though comes in from Tiger. It won't be enough, but it looks like Boxy will have enough time to run. A nice toss is there from him onto Nisha, just throwing him away from himself. We'll survive for another day. Of course, they will go shrine up themselves now on the side of Alliance down at that bot lane. Invisibility. Looks like mid lane though, Yapsaw. Does Dyer's find himself a nice invis rune, it does find Koifa as well. He does have the level 1 hook available now, but chooses not to initiate quite yet. No way for mid one to lay that trap, and now with the trap down, he can just run in with the rock. But look at those rotations. They know Yapsaw's around there somewhere, and now the boat comes in. Straight onto mid one. Can they burst him down? Yes, they can. The blast off was there, and Insania actually claims that kill. Now they go after Yapsaw. He'll be alright. He will survive the damage coming out from the Kunkka. Puppy as well will TP immediately, but they do get a massive kill in the TA. Yeah, once again, that's the target they did want. Um, rather unfortunate that the Yapsor does walk underneath that sentry ward, which just means that Koifa knows that the TA would have gone forward, trying to get an aggressive position, and has the supports rotate in. Nice clean pick off, and that does just slow down that TA just a tad. Interesting thing, when you look down at this bot lane, like Boxy, he got so low, he was below 100 HP. But the thing is, you can't walk into that tree line, because you know Tiger's placed some mines there. These mind games of the bot lane, just going on here. Boxy just trying to juke them in, or bait them in, I should say. Puppy, gonna cop an avalanche, and do they have the blast off? Well, yes, of course they do. They'll jump in, but Puppy turns around after Tiger, can find the kill eventually, but will lose his own life in the process. 
that's still a bit of a win for alliance again you're giving these kills onto your core you're sacrificing your support who you know is pretty much doing his job right this is what you expect from techies in the winning phase he has been quite disruptive i think the one thing you would want is taiga getting a decent timing to his six is all you can really hope for but considering just what the techies does in that laning phase it could be a while meanwhile on the safe lane of alliance mickey farming very well on that morphling almost 4k net worth on him His second is of course going to be the conquer played by alliance as well looks like they want to try and shut down mickey here but yeah so going to try for the hook and will connect as well mickey he will have the waveform however and he can just escape out pretty safely yeah again a nice uh, move to make but they don't quite have the burst or hold to really keep in mickey just yet mid lane they are going to go after mid one again though he does have refraction the absolute will jump in as well they will allow mid one to walk out of there out of fear of probably being hooked in oh puppy gets rooted in place and now the blast off as well though that secondary mine didn't really blow up maybe just slightly misposition but still puppy gonna think twice about walking back up that way so i mean while top lane will get caught out by koifer with the x and torrent he will surge away then wave four will not connect but mickey We'll be able to find the final right click and that's gonna make it a three to eight the way of alliance now yeah and it's certainly a very good start in this leaning phase already for alliance they've found everything they want from the lanes despite the early aggression from both sides all the toss into the two mines nisha cops a lot of damage but yapsaw is here they're gonna go straight after tiger on that tech is they do find the kill nisha will claim that on the sven They've got level two of those proximity mines, but apparently that's not quite enough to dish out the damage they need against Nisha. Those level three ones there may be the damage they're requiring. So Boxy gonna run in with an avalanche and now toss as well straight onto Poppy. It won't be enough damage and now he's in trouble. Yapsaw does have a hook in about three seconds. Mines are still there though. He loses almost half his HP on the punch. Will be all right, but it does mean he can't actually pursue that kill attempt. Yeah, again, just a lot of aggression coming out here on the bot lane. They are trying to secure Nisha a good start, and he's not really tapering off too hard in this safe lane. He is going to have a good timing on his Midas. So it is paying off for the most part. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yep, so we're going to stick around at that bot lane. Boxy might be in trouble here. Nisha looking for a storm hammer opportunity, but trying to make sure there's no mines around. They will throw it out, and now the hook, just to get him out of that range. Koifer, though, will come in with the boat, straight onto Yapsaw with the Tauren as well. They're just going to try and burst this punch down, and it looks like they will do so successfully. Koifer, even looking for another target if he can, though the X is on cooldown for the moment. Yeah, while all of that was happening, Taiga was in the area to soak that EXP, and he has a 6 now, Mike. This is when things start to get um, a bit worrisome for Secret, of course. Now you have to really invest in some detection to find these remote mines make sure you don't fall into a trap from a lions how creative tiger can be on this tech is Hawk is nice from Yapsaw though he's looking to set up with that dismember nisha will run in they can't allow the blast off to happen and they will not nisha claims another kill but we'll walk in to another proximity mine we'll lose a lot of hp because of it be okay in fact, no, he won't. Boxy jumps in. Avalanche toss almost takes him out, but just not quite enough damage. Nisha, he's had enough of this lane. He TP's back to the fountain. He did just use his Midas that he just picked up anyway, so he's more than happy to back off and heal up. Though Zai may not be so lucky top lane. He does get X'd up. The Bone and Torrent are there as well. He committed that surge, but it won't matter. He will end up losing his life. It's going to make it a 5 to 10 now, 12 minutes in, but the net worth still remains very, very even. That's really down to Nisha getting the farm anyway on this event. Like, he's been playing pretty uh, safe on that bot lane. Mainly his support's really copying the ganks for him. And, you know, with that quick Midas, his farm should be able to keep up quite nicely as well. Mickey looking to go for a Lincoln Sphere as his first item, and it's been a while since we've seen that on Morphlings, but so it's up against that Dismember, the Stormhammer, and all the stuns and hexes coming out of Poppy on that line, it does make a lot of sense. Make sure he's able to get out of these situations when he needs to. Feel a lot safer initiating in as well with that Morphling. 
That would be and nice. Toss will be there on Yapsaw bot lane. Looks like Foxy actually wants to go for this, but its member is there. Now the rest of the team, though, joining in Alliance. They really want Yapsaw dead. Waveform even coming in from Mickey, and they're going to go straight after a T1 bot tower now. Should be a very straightforward push as well. Secret not in position to really defend this, and it's just going to go. Nisha will go ahead and try to find a trade up at the top lane with their own T1 tower. Is almost there as well, and I don't believe Alliance actually has TPs available to try and defend this. But Nisha should be able to pretty safely find this kill. Though mid lane, they definitely don't want to allow that one to go down. Mid one, gonna get X'd up with the Tyrant Boat flying in as well. Boxy now with the Avalanche, though can't toss thanks to the Puppy's Hex. Wall being dropped. Though Zai, in fact Yapsaw going straight after the Rubik and Sania. Gets the Earth Spike off himself and now lifts up Yapsaw. He will die anyway. Stormhammer flying in straight onto Boxy. Can they find the Tiny? A nice Tyrant and an Avalanche to stop them in their tracks. Though it looks like Nisha has not done yet. The Finger from Puppy. Though that proximity mine looks pretty scary right now, it will not actually work out. The side of Secret will find another T1 tower in the mid lane, as well as a couple kills. Yeah, that's a very favorable trade for Secret. They do claim a bit more control on the map with these two towers that they've taken out, and doesn't look like they're ready to back off yet. Looking, still looking pretty healthy, so they're going to stick around here. Koifa, Earth Spike, Hook is there from the Yapsaur as well. And Koifa really has nowhere to go right now. He's just gonna kind of soak this damage up, and he will, though Insania coming in. Yapsaur, excuse me, Mickey is there as well. They will go ahead and claim Poppy's life. But again, Secret, definitely finding the favorable trade with those kills. Definitely so. Again, just uh, managing to get that pick off on the Konka. He's not, you know, he's not too far behind, but... He is lagging behind the cores from Secret, really trailing behind that Sven. Even the TAs had a better time. On the bright side, for Alliance, Mickey still having a great old time with his gold. Almost got that full Lincoln Spear up about 15 minutes into this game. Mid one, full Deso up, looking to probably go for a Blink Dagger next. Perhaps even just go for the BKB first if he really feels like he needs it. Echo Saber will be completed up on Nisha now. Secret setting up for some kills up at the top lane. And Boxy is there. Dominated Creep will scout it out, and Yapsaw does not go for the hook yet. Get rid of that Centaur. Secret are looking to set up for that tier 2 though. Quaper gonna find Puppy. Will throw out the X and the Torrent as well as the boat though. Nice hook from Yapsaw to save the day. Now the Hex goes thrown out on Boxy. Earth Spike from Insania will not end up connecting. They will end up pausing this push here from Secret, however, so both sides not really going to lose too much out of this. Though mid one now, Tapa Hastrun will actually go into the Roche Pit instead. With that Desolator, it is going to make it a lot easier to take this down quickly. And Nisha will even pop the God Strength for this as well, though it does get scanned out. I don't believe they'll make it in time from the side of Alliance, but they are trying to get there. Yapsaw waiting for a hook. He will find Koifa. He knew they were going to be around that point, and now the dismember, though, Avalanche will come in from Boxy. Koifa still trying to make a run for it. He got the torrent out, but not the boat, and he will end up losing his life in the end. The Aegis will, of course, be claimed by Secret as well, and will be placed on mid one. Yeah, and looks like despite that rocky start in terms of the exchange of kills, Secret's Radiant still finding mo their momentum. 9 to 12, but 4k network lead now going their way. And that is down to both mid one and Nisha finding the farm they want. They just weren't really kept in check by Secret too well. Sure, they shut down that TA for a bit. They didn't stop the jungling from happening. And the Sven as well had a pretty okay time down bot. Secret gonna go ahead and push that tier 2 top tower of course they did end up losing their own tier 2 down the bot lane and it looks like that was uh, Tiger's work on the techies still though they'll find the tier 2 fairly easily and with mid 1 this farmed up on the TA this is when Secret really starts to snowball Boxy he cops the trap though Yapsaw hooks a creep unfortunately it may not matter though because Puppy found the hex he will get the earth spike as well Insania is coming in and does get the earth spike off but Puppy will finger and get the job done Insania now probably going to be in trouble as well he gets trapped up Puppy making the chase Tiger trying to place some mines down and actually does a lot of damage to Puppy finds the kill as well but now may be in trouble because Zai he gets the back, he gets the wall. Mickey is here on the Morphling, but what the hell can he do right now? Probably not much. He'll morph into mid one. But that probably will not save the tier two tower in the mid lane. 
Yeah, there's just no no way he can defend against these four heroes so far. Doesn't really have the backup of Hoyka yet as well, as he is shoving in that top tower while all this is happening. So no defense, tier two goes down, and that's pretty much all the tier twos from mid and top gone. The only lane that's really left standing for Alliance is that bot lane. But they're gonna go for the tier three tower now. With mid one this strong and still hot in the ages, he's feeling rather confident. Both. Gonna fly in onto the spin. Now the toss back as well. They really want to try and take down Nisha. The hook. Yep, saw he'll find Boxy instead, but they won't mind trading. Nisha, he will lose his life. And now the blast off comes in. Tiger doing a lot of damage in that silence, especially doing a lot of work. They'll toss in Mickey to find Yapsaw. Yapsaw have still finding Boxy on the tiny. Alright. Looks like it was around the tree line there. So I, I suppose you'd call that a successful defense there from Alliance. They did not end up losing that tier 3 tower either. So that's a positive for them. They got a fair bit of gold out of those couple kills they found. Yeah, it's it's still a pretty good trade for Alliance. They do look like they're going to be shoving in that mid tier 1 as well. But with that fortify, not really going to have the time to clear it out. Mickey does have that Lincoln's, but it is broken already. Insania almost getting melted there by mid 1. Yapsaw trying to find a hook. Trap does connect on Insania, but no, he goes to the TB play, and it looks like they won't find him in the end. Great play from Insania. But yeah, again, definitely see. just having that, having that great game sense to juke out the hook. DP's home does go away with his life. They are going for the high ground again, and this is mildly concerning because the HP on that tower is not there anymore. Well, that's one of the things when you're versing a techies, John, you never let the game drag out. While Tiger is dead, they jump in though. Oh. Nice toss back. They want to get rid of that Aval that uh, the Aegis, excuse me, mid one. Gonna get walled on as well. We'll have the Aegis removed from himself. Tiger now moving in as well. Puts down some proximity mines though. It looks like the blink will be there from mid one. Mickey jumps in, does morph into the dark here and does get the back off. Now Boxy again with a very nice toss. Though it won't be enough to kill off Zai quite yet. But that boat and mine may be. In fact, no it isn't. They might just have to let the sign of secret leave the building. The Boxy does not want to allow that to happen. The X is there on Nisha. Now the back again. Insania gets melted in the hook from Yapsaw. He found Koifa on the Kunkka. They found Boxy on the Tiny as well. They'll jump on the Kunkka and get rid of him. Mickey, can he get himself out of this one? He does go separate up, but the stun will still connect from Nisha. The surge is well going to help the cause. Yapsaw. Doesn't have hook available. Mid one though will jump in. Mickey strength morphing and waveforming as best he can. Nice TP play as well after the waveform. We'll get him out of there safely. I mean, Alliance is definitely playing on the edge here. They've lost a lot of the map now to secret network advantage as well. All the way to secret now. You are really riding on Mickey to have the damage to deal with all of this right now. And really buy time for the techies to start planting all your defensive emplacements. You want to have those mines up by your tier trees, maybe by the racks as well, to prevent that high ground push. Not quite happening yet for Taiga. He is starting now though, but we haven't really seen the greatest use of these mines yet. A lot of them down in that secret jungle, but no one's been there at the farm in a while. around those mines and it's not really enough to kill somebody off it's just more so to try and catch somebody out while they're uh, going back home low hp At very least it does give vision on mid one farming the jungle though but the position alliance is in right now they definitely can't try to be aggressive towards the radiant jungle mid one trying to Farm up as fast as he can. He almost has the ethereal blade up on the morphling. One though, full BKB up, and that's a 10 second duration still available. Looks like he's going to be going straight into the uh, well, the crystalis and daedalus after that. Thorns of the techies right now doesn't seem to be too substantial yet. Like Tiger's only sitting at 3k net worth as well on that techies. That top shrine is a slow start. Top shrine, not gonna be long for this world. Mid one on Nisha will go ahead and take it out. Mickey though does have an ethereal blade now, and that could make a pretty big difference in the next team fight that comes for Alliance. 
definitely does add to the burst available from Alliance. It certainly feels like they are lacking a bit in that damage. Like, if they don't manage to throw all their spells in one hero, you're not going to be able to burst down Nisha or, <clears throat> or mid-1 right now. So, they are a bit too big to handle with this E-Blade, of course. It should be... It should help the cost. I'm not sure if it's quite enough to burst someone down completely. They're gonna start off with the X. Now, Coinfa did use the boat down the bot lane to push out a creep wave. They'll get the tier 3 tower here. Oh, Mickey. Trying to play around in the black back lines, but does waveform back up to the base. Secret, do they have time for this Rax? Mid one, gonna BKB up straight onto Insania and just bursts him down. Ethereal Blade will not help the course from Mickey. Buyback will be there though from Insania. Now, Mickey trying to find a nice back with that morph, but no, the X was there for Puppy, and now the wall is being placed by Zai. Mickey's in a lot of trouble, but he will be able to get out of there just barely. He's still strength morphing up, but he's kind of a sitting duck right now. The rest of his team just making sure he stays okay. Looks like Nisha will go ahead and claim the range rack while all that's happening. They are still defending pretty decently to the boat now flying in. Boxy actually throws him away from the boat but into the mines. They'll find Nisha on the spin. They'll get the X off as well on some mid one. Can they take him down though? No. Yep, so he found he found the hook in time. Puppy gonna be left alone. We'll end up going down to Mickey. They do find a range rats. The illusions are still going from Zai, but they're not gonna be able to finish the melee barracks off. Of course, the mid lane, the melee barracks are also still standing. It's only the range that's gone down. The defense is still somewhat successful from Alliance. Uh, oh, yeah, Definitely so. is. Tried to go for a hook, but did end up just barely missing. I mean, Alliance are still holding on quite well, and, you know, it's down to techies as well. The nature of this here is that... As the game drags on, you will be able to take control on this map, even if you don't have the objectives. Just having that time to plant these remote mines. The key... Ooh. Almost got the vac in time there from Zai. You were saying the key is? The key for Alliance is really time, right? They're biting for time now, they want their Morphling to be big, they want their techies to be able to play that stall game, plant all these uh, mines up, slow down push, Mickey, gonna get jumped here though, Puppy. Does cop the torrent and Bowden. Now the hook again from Yapsor. Will protect him, but Mickey, he will go back in for the adaptive, but now he's in trouble. Dismember is there. Can he survive all this damage? He gets a nice back off on the Morphling, but he'll be back back as well. Torrent will not connect. Still making a run for it. That spirit vessel slowly ticking him down, and now mid one finds him, but no, the waveform will be there in time. Surge out as well. It looks like Mickey should be safe in the end, and he will be. That was a really tight escape coming about from Mickey. In fact, that's really the story of this game so far. Alliance just barely getting away with their lives and all these exchanges. And, you know, it, time will tell whether or not all this time bought, all this time invested for, for Taiga to start mining up this map. It, it will show us whether or not it's worthwhile. Because, again, the Roshan's up, Secret's gonna go take it, and Alliance is in no position to contest. Certainly are not. And even if they were, I don't think they'd actually make the play. But with this Aegis, Secret may finally be able to claim one of those melee barracks they've been trying for for so long. Mid one, of course, we'll take the Aegis. Looks like Nisha will take the cheese for himself. They do ping out Mickey. So. Find the hook. There is a lot of traps there though, Mickey just trying to juke them out a bit. It's like mid lane is where Secret's going. They're not bothering for that uh, that bot shrine. Just want to go straight for the mid barracks. The fortification will come out and now the torrent as well. Koifa actually does a lot of damage there. Mickey tries to blow him up and he wow. does. Quick timing there before the refraction came out from mid one. So that's the Aegis gone and now another torrent coming out. Tiger setting up with some remote mines as well, just hoping they go too far. Hook will not end up connecting here from Yapsor, but they still will be able to claim that mid racks completely. And it looks like Secret do not want to mess around anymore with this base. They just try to back off though. Alliance are moving forward with the smoke. They find an X on Zai. Now they do have Yapsor to hook back bit, but no Boxy. He'll toss him out of there. The hook is perfect from Yapsor. He gets his teammate out of there in Alliance. They are not bothering with this any longer. Yeah, that's a pretty costly push but again it still gets done they only expend the ages which means that mid one won't have that option next time around of course 
But they take that melee Rex, and they get to go back, they don't lose anything. They take that key objective, and the map is certainly starting. It's already shrunk. You're going to lose out on your push potential on those lanes as well. Because now you're facing off against super creeps on that mid lane, which means it will just eventually shove in quite fast. So it's something that Alliance has to be aware of now. As they continue to buy some time for Taiga and Mickey to start really coming online. It looks like Boxy is uh, going for an Ethereal Blade himself on the Tiny now. So you're going to have two Ethereal Blades on the side of Alliance. So the aggression from Secret isn't going to stop anytime soon, it seems. Mid one just continuing to push out that mid lane. Wafer, of course, sitting there with the Heaven's Halberd, trying to go for a Daedalus himself, and that's going to really help the cause when they're trying to defend. Zai does just pick up the recipe for his Guardian Greaves now as well, so feel a lot better going up that high ground once you've got those Guardian Greaves up. Shrine Final Shrine now being taken out by Secret. Harpy will just casually lose half his HP. One just gonna run in with the refraction. The okay, Boxy trying to find a way in though. He sees the rest of the heroes thinking about going in as well. Though Boxy doesn't get the toss off. Now the Storm Hammer will connect and well the finger as well. Hook does not, but it won't even matter. Boxy does lose his life, but now Mickey he'll morph in and get the hook himself. They're trying to blow up Nisha, but he will get the cheese off in time. Nisha gonna dodge the boat coming in. Mickey trying to find another hook attempt here. Looks like Insania will manage to steal the war cry, but or oh, Hawk, Mickey, he gets caught. Yapsaw again finds him. Stormhammer will be blocked by the Lincolns and Boxy. Just jumps in, tosses back Yapsaw on the punch. And Yapsaw still surviving for the moment. With that dismember, he's just regening himself up. The wall's been dropped as well. Mickey just trying to survive, but the back's there. He does manage to wait for himself out. But they've lost Tiger and they've lost Koifa on that Kunker. They will buy back on Tiger. Boxy, a nice avalanche onto mid one, though he gets earth spiked up, and now the BKB from mid one just turning around onto Boxy, and they will be able to find that kill as well. And now the T4s are going to be the target. There's three heroes down, only one available with buyback. Mickey, can he defend this by himself? The buyout on Koifa. Hook will not connect from Yapsaw. Stormhammer will be dodged as well. Mickey, he's run straight onto mid one. In fact, it won't be enough. The refraction was there anyway. He'll throw the Ethereal Blade out onto Puppy, but even he won't die from that. Mickey just trying to clear out the creep wave with his spin, though. Here comes Nisha doing the real damage, and they caught Tiger with the hook. He blasts off, but it's not really going to matter. Three heroes down. No way back into this game. Mickey's still trying, however. Yapsaw keeping coin for busy while all this is going on. The Ancient is down to about half a HP. They will find coin for it looks like on the Kunker. Mickey's the only one left, and he gets hooked back out of the fountain. They call GG anyway. They've had enough of this game. And Secret, of course, will be able to pull it off. And John, you've got to give credit to these teams. Picking up a punch and a techies. Putting on a bit of a show for the viewers here in this close qualifier. Even though there is quite a bit on the line for both of them. But congratulations to Secret, beating out Alliance. Definitely. It was a fun game to watch. Um, early on as well, it was uh, quite explosive. But that techies never really finding the space, never really finding the control on the map. And Secret really just getting what they wanted under two cores, giving them the momentum they needed to end this game. And they just take it pretty convincingly, I have to say. 24 to 20, 21 K-Nut would lead 31.